Ah, oh, hello world. Yeah. It turns out that the citrus sap that I got is tangy mixed with Gorilla Glue. That's exactly what the strain is. And it's just like, it's just like amazing, you know? Do you so. think every weed is amazing? I always uh, call things amazing. Well, I, uh... It's like that Seinfeld episode. I love it. I don't even really watch Seinfeld, but I've seen that episode. <laughs> so, dude, I want, I know you're never going to go night skiing with me, but uh, Brandy and I really want to go. You're going to talk about this shit for like three months. Then you're going to go do it, and then you're going to be like, yeah, that was fucking awful. Whatever you and Brandy sit around and talk about, and you're like this little romantic fantasy where you guys are like interlocking hands coming down the slopes, but I think she's fucking cold now. <laughs> you think the little fucking piggy toes are cold now? Go out there at fucking nighttime. That's cool though. Knock yourself the fuck out. I'm not going anywhere near night skiing. Uh, I was all hype about it too when I first heard about it. Trust me. They were like, oh, the night skiing. I was like, what? Oh, you can ski at night. We got to do that. And by the time I got halfway down a run and my fucking eyelashes were frozen shut because of the fucking moisture coming out of my eyes, you're wearing goggles at night. <laughs> I still want to try. I know you do, because you're a fucking troll. I'm not a troll. You are. Peanut troll. I've been cleaning up peanut shits all fucking goddamn day. No more I got sick last night. <laughs> Dude. Try to poison my dog. Fucking troll me with night skiing. Troll me with the musician who. Musician. Troll me with the fucking dude's name we're not gonna fucking mention that oh, rhymes wow. with fucking Low Jack Whack. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be my rap name, Low Jack Whack. Low Jack Whack. Yeah. Oh, Tried to find me, nah, cause the Low Jack Whack. Can't find me, nah, cause the Low Jack Whack. <laughs> right behind me, yeah, cause the Low Jack Whack. I don't even know kids know what Low Jack is. People That's... know what a Low Jack is. It's School Marm yeah, it's is the... open. Yeah, School Marm is open. Part of School Marm is open. Part of it. Yeah. And there's a few other trails off. The same yes. fucking run that you guys can barely get down right yeah. now in the daytime. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's the one. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm ready to conquer it at night. You can't conquer it in the day. I was being romantic. I don't care about this fucking nerd's fit. Don't try to change <laughs> the subject. It. The fucker looks like a goddamn supervillain. That's the look. Are you gonna take a little pack a little picnic basket too? Are you guys gonna go out there and have some fucking chocolate? Well, I think the lodge is still open up top. We can no. have a little. No? No. I thought the lodge stays open. Mm -mm. Lights, there's food. There's a picture of this cute little family with the stars everywhere and they were mm -hmm. pointing up at the moon. They're taking the picture like, yeah, just point at the moon. We need something that just uh, has nothing to do with what's actually going on. Actually going on is really shitty. So just point at the moon and remind people we're on Earth. Like, don't actually, it's like beer commercials. Like, just sell the party, don't sell the product. Oh, and by the way, on your live stream this morning, sir, when you said I've never heard of Little Skies, it's bullshit. I've played Little Skies for you 150. I like how you fought this morning. You're looking at it like you like open his Twitter. Like, oh, he's not even that big. Only a hundred thousand followers. Like you're fucking. I didn't realize that you work for for, for fucking Jive Records. All of a sudden, chill. <sighs> Young skies could be next. It's little skies, but <laughs> it took a long cut. Yeah, that's my house over there. Yeah, we did yeah, a little You loop. did a huge circle. Yeah. Well, that's my house. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything because I'm already going off about one thing. I feel like if I start going off about more, the comments are just going to be wrecked. Oh, they're already going to be wrecked. <laughs> I'm already going off today. Oh! What? This guy. You don't want it with me. Fucking night skiing. Let's go tonight. I will. All right, let's go. Call Brady. I will. I, I we will. We will. So don't. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. You won't. You. She I will. Won't. No, you won't. You know she won't. Right now, at this very moment, you're gonna be watching the vlog at your house. You're sitting there right now with blue apron in your fucking lap, watching this vlog right now. We're not in Keystone. You're at your apartment. No. I'm in my house. No, we're gonna be in Keystone. No. There will be no vlog tonight. I'm sorry, guys. Chinese New Year's, right? Huh? You just got those today. No, I had them for a week. Yeah. <laughs> Every time. Oh me. Hey buddy. Oh me. Oh. Damn, Omar, you were just shitting everywhere. He shit in the shoe room.
bedroom, he shit outside. We can't stop him. Teddy's not thrilled. What in the fuck is that? Hold on, hold on. No, you set me up. <laughs> Dude, I can't roll a joint. <laughs> we rolled Philly's blunt. First, let's look at this. Let's dissect this. That you folded it. It's a special technique. I want to show you something. Can you pull this filter off? See these little lines right here? Yeah, I ripped them off. Oh, you ripped these lines off. Ripped, ripped. Cool, well, what you're supposed to do, and the reason that they're perforated, is because you fold them over. I ripped mine right off with the perforation, and then I just rolled it. That looks good. Or you want to crumble it up, or you want to uncrumble it, or you want to take your filter, and you want to hold it right so, just make yourself a little boat. It's gonna be hard for me because I just washed my hands. It's hard for me to roll joints with washed hands, but I'll make it happen. Let's unravel your fucking horse shit. This is my life. This is the life I've chosen for myself. But the whole idea is to roll that weed into a nice little tube so that you can like fold your shit around it. Like, gotta get that tuck right because that's where it gets loose. Yeah, that's where I fuck so up. So you just wanna make sure Pinch and roll. I rolled once. Was it? If I could roll joints like this, dude, this is, I would do this in my wake and bake, my weed would taste better, like, I can't, I'm out there smoking I'm swishers. Way, dog. I'm gonna turn you into the best joint roller you've ever seen. There's, I'm, there's even better ways, like, there's one way to roll a joint, and I don't do it very often unless I'm really just trying to flick. Put a toothpick through, and make a straight up, like, tunnel, like a tiny pull tunnel. It out. Pull it out, like, roll every, roll the double filter around each other, like, motherfucking, like, Mozart's to this shit. You know what I mean? I'm not one yeah. of them, but. No, yeah. Basically, yesterday, I got these peanuts, at, or two days ago, at this hood store, if you've been following the vlog, which I got, like, as a joke, kind of, to be funny, and, um, well, just because I got Fago and those peanuts, because it was just funny to me that they have those peanuts in a store individually bagged in Ziploc bag. And I brought them over here because I was going to eat them. And then um, we left them here. We went to the store. We got peanuts, like good peanuts. I was eating them. And then Teddy said I was a troll because I was eating them. And the other ones were at our house. Meanwhile, we get back to the house and come to find out that Omar has gotten up on the counter, gotten the peanuts, and eaten through the entire bag. So now all day today, Omar has shit the shoe room in Teddy's bedroom, outside a lot, um, and he can't stop farting, and it's been brutal. Also hilarious, but I feel bad for Omar's stomach. Um, but I'm going home now, so I won't have to smell the farts anymore. Back open. Well, I guess we know that we're eating this one tonight. Ah, two. Two broken ones. Broken? That's positive. Stu from North Carolina. It's my most favorite thing, probably. My mom called me and asked me how to ship it, and I told her not to use the UPS store, but she did it anyway. Hey, oh, no. I just need a minute, and then we'll play, okay? Okay. I just need a minute. <laughs> yeah, shoes today. Uh, we're gonna talk about the Chinese New Year 4.0s. We took a quick look at them the other day or last week. Yeah, last week, and uh, so we didn't really get like a full-on review or comparison or anything like that. The 4.0 right here. First, I didn't really love this shoe, the pictures that were coming out were kind of lackluster. I was still getting used to the 4.0 pattern, et cetera, et cetera. But after wearing them today, I actually appreciate the color a little more. I still don't think it's a must cop. It just it matched my sweatshirt pretty well. By the way, these sweatshirts, shameless plug, these sweatshirts drop Sunday at 10 a.m. in a multitude of colors. Each design comes in its own color and also colored t-shirts and long tees in the PAX restock. Um, Sunday, 10 a.m. 
for those of you asking. So obviously 4.0 upper. The main thing with the 4.0 upper that's different is these either straight lines come down. Um, it's not as pleasing to the eye as other models in my opinion and I think that's what a lot of people don't like. In this model particularly and the fifth anniversary that dropped today, I don't feel like it's as prominent. I feel like you can see the toe pattern a little bit better. In this pair I feel like you can see the squares a lot better in their light. When you look down your feet you see the toe box patterns. It does kind of create this optical illusion when you're looking at it, it's hard to figure out which part of the shoe you're really focusing on. This year's colorway is very similar to last year's colorway. So obviously we're a little darker. Uh, red and black is the motif. Uh, this black is definitely more of a gray color than a true black, and obviously you can see the heavy black in last year's, the 3.0. Uh, laces have a somewhat little similarity. These are a little more wild. This is basically like a camo. I don't really know what it's supposed to be. It kind of looks camo-ish. This year is year of the dog. So the uh, the characters on the tongue that is clutched into the crazy fangs there. That translates into Mastiff, year of the dog. So this may be like some sort of like represent dog fur in some weird way or something, the way it kind of, I don't know. That's, it's hard to say. It looks more camo-y, but it does have kind of like a fur look to it. And you also have that same pattern printed on the inside of the shoe. Kind of looks marbled here. Uh, it's that same pattern that's on the laces. Last year, speaking of dogs, Omar needs to go out. Uh, last year, that pattern is it's also on the box. This, that pattern was also on the inside of some samples that did not release on the retail pairs. Just for honorable mention, this is the uncaged Chinese New Year from last year. Got a very, very tiny, tiny release. This is a sample. But yeah, just regular TPU plastic cages, regular black on black, murdered out heel cup, and then the new boost insole that also has the printing on it. Boost, of course, and then the red, flame red continental sole, which is kind of the shining star of this shoe. If it didn't have that, then I don't think I'd like it as much. Probably one of my favorite things they throw on certain colors. Everyone knows the color collab. And then a lot of people are blacking out this sole, and I have to say it looks super tough. It looks really good blacked out. I don't generally customize my shoes just because I don't. I'm not super into it. Like, well, I like the idea. Even though the black sole thing is not a big deal, there's just something about altering the shoe um, that I don't, I don't generally do it, but I have seen some really good blackout jobs on And some people can get it to stay perfectly. So, I mean, these look great blacked out if you want to do it, but I also appreciate it in white. I'm just, you know, gives the shoe a completely different vibe, but it does look good blacked out. If they released this with Black Boost, it probably would have gone crazy, honestly. Um, I've said on 4.0 fit, I say true to size 13. I have 12 and a half's okay. I have one pair of 12 and a half's, but 13 is definitely preferred. Yeah, that's pretty much the uh, 4.0 Ultra Boost. So to kind of go through the list, because we never really got, we never actually got a 2.0 Chinese New Year. 1.0, the first Chinese New Year we ever got is this one, which was Year of the Monkey, which was crazy. It looked like this. This was a pretty interesting box. It's kind of helped out. I think I said the other day, you know, like a special box would help. And this is the first one we got that doesn't have one. So you have 1.0, 3.0, and 4.0. And then what I call the unofficial 2.0, which is the My Adidas, which was supposed to be an Asian exclusive, but did not end up being. It's the closest thing to somewhat of a Chinese New Year 2.0. Uh, these did already release. The resale on them is not crazy, even though some people wanted it to be. I don't think that the resale on them will be crazy. It sh you should not have to pay too much over retail. If you do, good luck. There should be plenty of pairs out there. All right, I'm out. Peace.